see so much missing trees, no replanting, don't know what to do. And that is a little navel block right here on the corner, and you'll see that the trees look a little better. But still, this is scaring the bejesus out of us, okay? Look at the droppage here under these trees. What is causing that? That's typical of HLB, even though we think the Valencia is tolerant. Not immune, just tolerant. We don't understand this yet. Maybe some researcher thinks he does, but I wish he'd speak up. It's the cancer of the industry right now. Well, I was certainly here when it started. It was discovered in, in Florida, I guess, 2005. It's a bacterial disease. You can look up the long name. We called it, we called it HLB or greening. We are being, I don't mind using the word, almost devastated in what to do or how to conquer it. I grew up in a, in a family of citrus, of course, or I wouldn't have been starting when I was eight, nine years old. So I've been through it all. I can show you that turnpike wasn't even out there when I was putting in groves. <laughs> and it went right through the middle of one of mine when it was built in 1965, 66, I guess. Fighting the 80s freezes, three massive freezes, it devastated this industry with anything, in my opinion. But you didn't have the fear of when you got to five years out, you wouldn't have a grove. You might have another freeze, but that's different than fighting this HLB. Greening is a uh, bacterial disease that's transmitted by the Asian citrus psyllid, which is not native to Florida. What it really does is it begins to starve and to uh, limit the tree's root system, which then obviously has an effect on its ability to fruit, and it has a, a further effect on its ability to hold fruit as it begins to mature. And it's become a uh, more and more difficult task to get the quality of juice that a little niche brand like us depends on. We have uh, less than a third of the oranges that we had 10 years ago, and we have less than 25% of the grapefruit that we had 10 years ago. Much of it, not all of it, but much of it attributable to citrus green. Boy, it's a guarded proposition right now. I've, I'm abandoning grows. I've started a few over from scratch, trying a little bit, and that's really what's going on in the industry. Everybody's got their programs. Everybody's trying. Everybody's with research, but at this point, unfortunately, we probably are years away. Oh boy, I'm hopeful, but so far we've got we've had very little progress. There's some rather innovative stuff going on. There's um, many grower-initiated treatments. Bactericides, trying those to reduce the bacterial infection, uh, modifying irrigation waters. Thermotherapy is one where they basically tent the individual tree and use solar radiation to bring the temperature to a critical point, which frankly defoliates the tree. Frequency and changing of, of fertilizer, hoping that they will recover faster than if you jab it all at them at one time. The spinach gene may actually be introduced into the citrus plant and provide it with some defense mechanisms. So there's a lot of perspective things out there, but none which seem eco economically feasible or particularly eminent at this point. The Florida citrus business is a hallmark industry in the state and has been for the last hundred years. It has a nine billion dollar impact on the state, or it did in its uh, heyday, and that's a huge economic impact as well as a, a reputation that Florida has uh, maintained for a long time. So I don't think the industry is going away. I just think it's uh, it's taking a lot of long-time farmers and long-time citrus families down with it, and we're running out of time. Look at that. That's a picture that I, I had painted for my daughter looking out of the old cabin and citrus and cows and stuff. But, uh, you know, in spite of the tremendous problems the industry is having, I'm still very proud of what our family and 
all of us have accomplished through the years. And we're still out there farming. Just can't keep farming till it's all gone. We're still a big part of the economy of this state. And we intend to be, and we'll go down with the ship, I guess, if need be. Thank you.